Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Gun Snipe and welcome to another GTA 5 video. In this five part video, we're gonna I'm gonna be talking about my top twenty favorite aircraft that is on GTA Online. So that's right, we're gonna I'm gonna be talking about my favorite via aircraft in this game. But in particular this video is gonna be about numbers twenty through sixteen. So uh, if you like this video and the others that I'll be posting every posting for the week, please drop a like and subscribe and also hit that notification so that way you will know when the other videos come out. With that out of the way, let's not waste any more time and get right into the countdown. So we're gonna get started with this top twenty with the with the lowest number here and that is gonna be the the RM ten Bambushka at number twenty. This plane, in my opinion, was a huge waste of money. Even if you have done the the amount of air source missions to get the trading price, which is 4.5, 4. 4. 4, it was like over $4 million to begin with. So if you have that, that's all, it, even that, it was a waste of money. This plane is a, it was severely overhyped, and it, it, it is a complete joke. This is basically a Valkyrie this is basically the Valkyrie of airplanes. Now it does have Jado rockets for it that kind of help it take off, but that's only for taking off. You can't use them while in the air. I mean, this plane is slow and cumbersome, and it's also lightweight in terms of defense. I mean, yeah, you do have flares for it, but these flares are really ineffective against homing rockets because you gotta time it just right so that the homing rockets can lock onto the uh, flares instead of the plane. But what's even worse is that it's with even with its speed upgrades, it's just slow. It's like super slow. And two hits with a explosive sniper bullet uh, rounds will take this thing down in a, in a uh, in a in a matter of moments. And besides, you need at least three other players to help you defend it from uh, from air attacks from like other height from hydras. Well, if it's a if a hydra is going after this plane, and the and one of your friends is not a good shoot with the guns, and this plane is going to go down from a hydra attack. But any other plane that doesn't have explosive rounds, you will need somebody in one of the seats to help you defend this plane, because this plane won't let you, doesn't let you use any of the uh, guns that are on it automatically. You got to have at least three other players to to defend this plane so this plane was definitely not worth the, the money the 5.9 million if you buy it now and the 4.5 million for the trade-in price so that's the uh bambushka so let's go look at number 19. now for number 18 i, I don't own it personally so that's so i'm look we're looking at it on the website but number 18 is the valkyrie for 2.8 million dollars this is slightly better than the bambushka but not a whole lot for reasons it's pretty much similar to the Bambushka. You need three other players to help you defend this plane. While it is nimble, it is not armored. It's not armored, so it doesn't ha and it doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any uh, countermeasures. Like none of the older aircraft prior to Smuggler's Run does does not come equipped with with uh, um, countermeasures of the slice. And besides, there are better helicopters than this that are in the game that can outmaneuver and outclass the Valkyrie but this this plane I mean helicopter I keep calling helicopters planes for some reason but this helicopter is really good when it comes to having people with in you in on the plane with you like two side mounted turrets or mi miniguns and you got the co-pilot seat that has like a, a four barrel Vulcan gun that has uh, explosive rounds but it shoots really slow so if you got like three other people, three other friends out that are willing to help you defend this plane when doing missions and stuff, I say go for it. But if you're by yourself, don't use this plane because helicopter because you won't be able to defend defend it from other attack from other player attacks. And like I said, there's other helicopters that are way better than this one. So that's the Valkyrie at number 19. And let's take a look at the number eight, the 18th. Uh, 18th vehicle. So the number 18th spot in this list is the Mammoth Mammoth Mogul. 
This is one of the drip fed vehicles that came out recently for some others run. And this is basically another Valkyrie to a degree. I say that to say that is because you only need one other person to help you defend this plane to man the bubble turret that's behind the cockpit. Uh, the, the inside view of the plane is pretty much generic and all that stuff, but you're right behind the prop, so it kind of gives you that slight look, give you a good, unique look of it all. And you can look behind you and you see the, uh, the bubble turret behind you and stuff. Now, the plane is slightly more maneuverable than the Bambushka, but it's still slow as all hell. And you really, technically speaking, you really don't need another person to help you defend this plane. It's only when doing the uh, cell missions from the Hainer that you need someone to uh, defend it for you. But, but you can use the front mounted machine guns if you're flying around in free room to kind of scare away other players from trying to come after you. But this plane is still slow in terms of speed. And it also has a bomb. And it can also be used as a bomb, like a medium sized bomber and stuff, if you want to use it compared to the Bambushka. So that's the, uh, that's the Mogul. So let's go take a look at the number 17 vehicle. So the number 17 vehicle here is the, the Havoc, the little helicopter that was first init initially added into the, into online through Smuggler's Run. This is basically the, like a little RC helicopter or a drone that you can fly while in it. It's got a pretty unique view, like a whole 180 degree view from the cockpit and stuff without any interruptions or any any obstructions from the cockpit window itself. This is this be, this helicopter is basically used to get into like extreme tight spots, you know, the kind that are uh, the kind that are too small for even like a like a buzzer to get into. This helicopter will do it. There is one cell mission from the Hainer where you have to take like at least up to 12 of these into San, into Los Santos and you have to go into like extremely hard places to get into like like the construction yard right there at by the Maze Bank Tower, the construction yard right there by the by LSC, you know, those type of areas that are like really cramped spots. Uh, this is a, a little a neat little vehicle but the downside to it to this uh, helicopter is that it is extremely lightweight. Like when you take off, you have to go straight up into the air. You can't push forward on the stick to get some forward momentum going. Otherwise, the plane will tip over. Same thing if you go side to side with it. And just the slightest touch from a vehicle, like you cannot, you couldn't go full. Like you can go uh, touch this vehicle, not even going full speed with like a, let's say a, a. a an oppressor, like you can just tap the, this vehicle, this helicopter with a with an oppressor without doing the speed boost from the in, from the rocket, and this thing is going to slam onto its side. That's how lightweight this uh, helicopter is, and the gun on it, it's a, a really nice gun. It's a, it's the same gun they used on the uh, on the uh, the insurgent pickup, but because of how wonky this uh, helicopter is. It's not a really good stable platform to use this gun, and let's not forget it's even though you have that three that 180 degree look on uh, unobstructed view with the in the cockpit, this uh you're pretty much a sitting duck if you go on to if you go so close to the ground, anyone on the ground who you, who who sees coming at you, they can easily shoot you out out of this helicopter real easily. So that's the uh, havoc. Now let's look at the final vehicle on this list. That the number 16, uh, the number 16 uh, vehicle. So number 16 is the Buckingham Bezra that came out during the the uh, flight school update for, on last year. This vehicle can basically keep up with the Hydra or the Laser in terms of speed and maneuverability. But the one downside for this aircraft is that it has no guns whatsoever. Like, if it had a gun on here to help defend the uh, defend itself, then this then this jet could have been a good rival to the uh, to the Hydra or to the Laser in some regards. But um, alas, it doesn't have any of that whatsoever, which is why it's low on the list. 
so that's the uh, Buckingham Bezra and that's it for this video so once again thank you so much for watching and as always drop a like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell that way you'll know when the next part of the list video comes out so again thank you so much for watching take care and I will see you all in the next video